What's up, Bosus? I was hanging out in my Discord per usual, and one of my Discord members shared a translation of Yoshi's recent 6.3 interview. The thing about these interviews is that sometimes we can gleam a little bit more information that the live letter nuance doesn't necessarily cover. And the main thing, as you can see, is Paladin is getting a complete overhaul. No, this is not a drill. This is not a few tweaks. This is not adjustments to the GCD combo. This isn't, we're just gonna adjust some of the abilities and what they do. The whole job is basically overhauled. That's the main objective for the adjustment this time. And they are not adjusting with the objective of working on its rotation, which is basically what the community has been talking about for the last couple of months at Paladin. They'd mentioned that Paladin was gonna get some changes. People were thinking they're just going to cut out maybe the atonement combo or they were going to just tweak a few things to get it on the GCD timer rotation as all the other jobs have. He goes on to say buffs that are hard to use compared to other tanks have been adjusted as well. Well, I'm assuming here that they're talking about cover and intervene as you really never use that as a paladin, only in some niche situations. Most of the time your job gauge, which is your oath gauge, goes to Sheltron. He goes on to say they believe that a large amount of small tricks in this job have been sorted out and it's definitely made easier to use. Now, I give them that. Paladin wasn't the smoothest job comparatively to the other tanks. I feel Dark Knight's kind of the same way, but I don't nec I wouldn't necessarily put it on like the difficulty rating at level 90. I really love Paladin. It's my main tank usually. And something we can look forward to on this next live letter, which I will be doing my usual live letter recap video, and I will include this in that video. The details on the concept behind the changes when overhauling the job, including the combo and whatnot, will be relayed during the upcoming live letter. Now, aside from that, Paladin getting those major job adjustments are kind of a... Hmm... I would say I'm excited because I really do trust Square and its developers and I feel like they've always had our best interest at heart, but I'm a little, I'm not say irritated, but more flustered or caught off guard because I feel like there's a lot, a lot of other jobs that need it more than Paladin. I didn't feel like Paladin was in a bad spot. I think whatever changes they make are going to be for the overall positive. They might be really different at first. I'm just hoping they don't oversimplify the Paladin job. And that's one thing I don't want this game to do. I don't want it to become so simple that it's boring to play. There was a few other things he talked about in this interview. I'm not going to cover all of them, but the one that actually kept popping up was regarding Nofika. If you haven't seen the illustration, I will put it up. This is what's been going around for character design for this potential NPC. And I love it. And I hope they do it. But they definitely are going to say they definitely don't want us to have high expectations because they do say the devs want to fulfill the player's expectations, but not promising something that goes way above and beyond on that matter. And if you're charmed by her, you'll be in trouble. So be careful. Essentially saying she's not going to look like anything in this thing. As you can see, this was a um, fan made character design and everyone just fell in love with it instantly. Another tidbit of information is regarding the Manderville weapons. He says quite a few things, but one of the more important things that I want to highlight is that since the main play style for Final Fantasy 14 right now is players playing multiple jobs, which is so accurate. So many people, even just in my discord, just coming in, want to level up every job. That's just kind of they're there. So why not utilize it? They're planning to balance this so that players can complete the next step of multiple Manderville weapons instead of just one so you have to do one step and then it's going to apply to all of the relic steps for that specific relic we see this a few times in the older relics and i can hear some people saying like well they're taking the grind out of relics no the grind is there there's 18 weapons 17 18 there's 18 weapons that you're going to have to do they're just at some point going to have to combine some steps in order to make it somewhat playable for everyone. Even going back now for the Realm Reborn Zodiac weapons, even though that's 10, like I am feeling the heaviness of the grind. Or the another thing that they assured us was that the weapon was going to look badass. That was their word specifically. And I think that's really good because I think some people were worried that it was going to look 
kind of jokey because Hildebrand is a jokey type of side quest. So I think a lot of people were concerned about. The last thing I want to cover is they say here in the interview, while this cannot be told in detail yet, but Yoshi P has been hard at work working with other companies so that players can go, wow, they're going all their way to do that for both in-game and external activities. We're going to have some really awesome collabs coming. That's the only way that I can take that sentence. And it's really awesome and really exciting. I cannot wait for 6.3. I think Final Fantasy 14 has only been getting better. I've been covering Final Fantasy 14 now for a little over two years, and I'm not going anywhere. I have my amazing Discord community and all of you here on YouTube. And I'm really excited for this new year to really put my hat in the ring for the Final Fantasy 14 content creator role and for all of you guys to trust me that I will provide the information you need for this game as well as helpful guides and all around just be a good content creator for you guys to benefit you. So if you want to support, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. You can also join the Discord. I'm always in there hanging out and we have an amazing Discord community. Please be on the lookout for my live letter video that will come out tomorrow once we get all the information and translations for the live letter. And if you want to kill some time and watch some other Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.